Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lover. Welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for the face today. So I was thinking for today's video, I'm gonna film uh, my answer to your questions because I've been asking um, some question on my Instagram. So it's just here. So if you want to be part of the video, you can always subscribe to my Instagram and. Uh, You'll have a chance maybe like to to participate but yeah today i'm going to use your question and i'm going to get ready do my makeup and then answer to those questions which are fragrance related it's the first time that I do, I do that so doing my makeup while answering the question may be a bit difficult but let's see how it goes So let's see the first question. So the first question by Analog Movie Guys was saying, what do you think of clone houses? I don't mean the dupe who make the fragrance bottle look the same, but the clone houses who just clone the smell. Thoughts? Interesting. Um, so if you follow my Instagram, you might know that I've got a hashtag that is called fake of the day. So, um, Basically, I just I just really don't like anything that is related to any faking fragrance, but that's not what you're asking to me. So um, if we talk about clone houses, so people who actually like um, copy, not the bottle, but just the smell, I still, I still kind of do not agree about that. Oh my God, I look like I'm dead. Just, just because it's really upsetting me actually because it's it's a lack of creativity for me it's like why, why do you have to to do that to copy the smell of other people I, d I don't understand so there's reason first reason saying some people are saying oh luxury fragrance they're too expensive you're buying the brand and the bottle well yeah but I mean it's part of the fragrance so if you don't have the fragrance you have to have the bottle and the brand as well so uh, first thing first, I've seen some reviews uh, that are from other fragrance lovers that really like some clone houses house, but I still, I still kind of do not agree just because, what, even if it's I'm buying a lot of fragrance, okay, I'm buying a lot of fragrance, and I would never get something that looks similar. I would prefer to work more and to be really proud of having this fragrance at the end than just you know buying something that looks similar and when the brand is saying oh this is gonna smell exactly the same it doesn't actually it's not the same quality of ingredient it can't be made in the same factory and it's sometimes like for luxury like it's hand-picked the flower and the ingredient or hand-picked something like that cost a lot of money so I, I don't I don't understand that for me for me it's not correct um, if you want one fragrance, just buy it, but don't buy something that looks similar. Uh, yeah, I just, I just don't get it. <laughs> and uh, and then you know, it's just like um, ethically, it's not right. Like, if you're writing a book, you're really proud of your book, and like one day, there's a guy arriving, taking your book, changing a bit something inside the book, and put the same cover, and then publish it. I don't think you would be happy about that. Well, I'm not happy about it neither. So, um, just by respect about how long it takes to do a fragrance, uh, just to think about the fragrance, what ingredient you're gonna put inside, what packaging on you're gonna do, what what is the spirit of the fragrance, why are you creating that? So, I'm just like, I wanna respect that, and I don't want to buy something similar. So if there's some fragrance that smells similar than a luxury product, why not? But if it's a dupe, or if it's like a clone house, I don't agree. Well, everybody has their own like um, thinking about that, but for me, it's just, it's just no, 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 no. Okay, second question is from Studboy46. They're saying, why are you so addicted to perfumes? Uh, good question. I mean, uh, there's few reasons. Uh, first of all, I think it's really interesting. Uh, just because fragrance is the most ancient art actually in the world. And uh, I just 
I just think um, when you're thinking about fragrance, you can talk about history, you can talk about the packaging, you can talk about the ingredient, uh, you can talk about the philosophy, you can talk about metaphors, poetry is a form of poetry as well, and I think um, memories, memories, and I think you can express um, a lot of things with fragrance. Um, you don't have to, to speak words with fragrance, you just have to speak emotion and, and you can easily like um, change your personality as well it's a role play to have a fragrance sometimes when I change my uh, when I have a new fragrance I can change my mood you know sometimes I will wake up and feel very sad and I will just take a very joyful um, fragrance like um, at the moment I'm wearing a lot of baby doll from Yves Saint Laurent it's uh, this pineapple like kind of scent like in the morning makes me like I want to do lots of things and I feel much better when I wear that, which is um, sometimes helping. And also, I think uh, it's just once you start it to actually dip into the fragrance, it's difficult to get out because there's so many things, like I said, uh, you can learn about fragrances that um, once you're into that, you can't go back really. And there's so many things so many fragrances all over the world to discover you can't you can't just like stop because too many things and i think it's the family thing i think in my family everybody loves fragrance as well so um it really did encourage me to actually love that too so and i always loved um anything related to luxury and i think uh, i think fragrance is your invisible accessory and i really do I don't know? I feel I feel pampered. I feel uh, luxurious when I wear a fragrance. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It's an habit. I, I wouldn't go out without my fragrance. It's just like this. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, like um, so many things to learn. It's really interesting. Even like um, talking about ingredients, like the chemistry around the ingredients, really interesting. Like um, how how to dose uh, the ingredient, what solvent would you put inside, what conservative, things like that. And I think it's, uh, I don't know, I think it's really interesting. And why in certain skin it doesn't work, why in things like that. It is so many questions, so many things to say. So I feel that it's a whole science. So that's why I'm really passionate about fragrance. Okay. Next question. Carol and G0520 and she said could you please review Jasmine Sambak and Marigold and yes I can because I've got it <laughs> so which is just here I love it um so well, why not why not today so Jasmine Sambak and Marigold is a fragrance by Jo Malone it's part of the collection of Cologne Intense and um I do really prefer the Cologne Intense because um, I like when it's very like strong, oriental, opulent. I like to leave a sillage behind me when I'm wearing something, so I just I just love this one. Uh, it also like I'm really addictive to fragrances that smell like sunny, very solar, but still quite opulent. So um, I'm gonna do that. So yeah, so I really do love this one. I think the top notes are marigolds and then. The hot note are uh, honey, jasmine, and the uh, base note is benzoin, as I remember. So yeah, the benzoin gives like a churchy kind of effect, like very like warm, mysterious. And then the marigold and um, the jasmine is making it like very solar. And there's a touch of ylang ylang as well, which is uh, one of my favorite flower because it smells sunny. You know, lovely like mono like. And um, this fragrance, I was quite disappointing at the beginning because it didn't stay on me. But I don't know why my skin, skin like changed during this year. So now it's like sticking to my skin and I just think it's really pretty. I had many compliments about it as well. And um, it's interesting because the jasmine that they use in this one is jasmine sambac. And I don't know if you know, but jasmine sambac is uh, an ingredient from uh, India. And this is, uh, like we said, the, the queen of the jasmine because it feels luxurious, kind of warm, slightly honeyed. 
Um, if you compare it to a jasmine from grass or uh, an exotic jasmine, uh, the other ones will be a bit more uh, fig, greeny. And uh, this one is just like very solar, it's opulent. Like the country basically, it's sunny, you know. Uh, which I think is beautiful. And um, and this fragrance just smell, it just gives me joy again. Uh, and you can definitely wear that in the evening because it's quite intense, but I still do prefer when it's very sunny to wear something like that. Longevity is great, but I would say it depends on your skin because on me, it really depends. It really depends. Sometimes it wouldn't stay at all and sometimes it would stay a lot. That's why I'm spraying like crazy this fragrance. But yeah, I think I fell in love. Like uh, my first two fragrances from Jumalan was Mer and Tonka, Sea Salt and Wood Sage, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, whatever. And this one, um, I really fell in love from this. Um, but yeah, I think the Colonial Tons are really beautiful. And I want to try their, um, their tea house or something, you know. Uh, what I'm gonna put on my eyes? Pink. Pink? Yeah, pink. Uh, yeah, next question. So the next question is from Parfum Duology. Your top favorite florals, both designer and need. Whoa, I think that needs a whole video, I think. But I f my favorite at the moment, and I'm saying at the moment, uh, at florals from niche fragrances is a Zoologist, a Dragonfly. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. Um, it's got, I think we can say it's a floral, even though there's a woody base, quite oriental with amber. But there's uh, some cherry blossom, lotus flowers, iris, so quite floral at the end. Uh, it's very hairy, it feels like quite humid when you wear it. And it's really, um, I don't know, it feels very greenish, but flowery, but quite hairy at the same time. I don't know, I just really love this fragrance. I think it's great, but. Um, I would say it's quite feminine, I don't know, well I mean it's a floral, uh, but yeah, no, I think it's beautiful. And uh, I want to buy a fragrance by Grow Smith that is called Golden Chypre. It's not completely a floral again, but there's some rose um, and uh, geranium, things like that. But it smells like quite vintage and uh, you know like a number five, like an arpege, like a calèche, things like that. So I really like that, so I want to buy this one. And for designer, uh, flooring designer at the moment, I don't know. Rosa Nobile from uh, Aqua di Parma is quite special, you need to like rose. And usually I don't really like rose, but this one I like it. So uh, yeah. It's not designer Aqua di Parma, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I will do a top. I will think about it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next question is Abubak and C. If I'm saying wrong the name, I'm sorry. What are your favorite men's fragrance currently? I like a lot uh, Letton from um, Parfum de Marly. I wish I could have it for myself, to be honest because I really like it. I think I fell in love from uh, um, Le Beau, uh, from Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Ah, Jean-Paul Gaultier! From Jean-Paul Gaultier, uh, because he's got notes of coconut, and I love coconut. And uh, I think it's just my mood that is still in summer. Next question. So this is from Lord Gundy is saying, what is the men's fragrance that excites you? That excites you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I can give you a family of fragrance that uh, excites me, if you can say that. I would say something that is very strong, opulent, very woody, lots of character. I do like fresh scents, but if you say excite me. <laughs> um, Gun Leather from Tom Ford. Um, Pen Elegance Halfetti, I love that on the men. Um, yeah, yeah. Anything that is very leathery, very deep, you know, very strong. Uh, like Egoist from Chanel as well. I am Blitz. And 
Where is your favorite place to sample fragrances? Stores, areas, city. For stores to sample fragrance and to try fragrance, I'm gonna say Bloom Perfumery. I don't come that much over there, but to sample your fragrance, I think it's amazing. So it's in Covent Garden, London, and you can sample any fragrance you like uh, for a very like little price. And it's really interesting and they've got like really interesting niche fragrances. That's why I discovered Zoologist and uh, I mean it's really a nice perfume store. Uh, otherwise I'm usually going to Harrods uh, for those who live in London again. Um, in Salon de Parfum it's much more cozy and uh, you can sit on the sofa with the brand and explain to you about everything about the fragrance. If you want to know more about the history and things like that and usually they give really nice sample because uh, one time I've been there for Clive Christian and uh, I had a little seat over there and they gave me like samples like of number one which is a very expensive fragrance for women and uh, and yeah they gave it to me so you know uh, um, it's not because Harrods is like quite posh that you can't have uh, to try I love to go to the first floor as well to is it the first floor I'm not too sure but the fragrance hall where you can try all the fragrances over there and uh, usually the, the staff over there is um, really really trained so uh, they'll be able to really help you otherwise Covent Garden to try fragrance I mean <laughs> you've got everything about fragrance in Covent Garden which is nice if I go um, to Paris it's even better because I think uh, Paris is the cradle of perfumery a little bit, you know, so there's a lot of things you can try like a uh, real beauty that you can have a look to and If I go to Brittany near to my hometown, I will go all to Sephora uh, If I want something quite trendy and I want to be in this kind of uh, fashion vibe Otherwise and you they can give you some sample as well, which is nice. Otherwise I will go to um, Mariono if I want a consultation uh, because the lady over there they're just um, really good they take the time with you to explain and things like that uh, but yeah next question is which fragrance no is one of your favorite notes easy uh, my favorite note is sandalwood because it's very creamy and tuberose for the flowers because it's the most fragrant flower so it smells very like opulent and uh, I do love uh, what I love Narcissus as well because this flower is not really used in perfumery and it's a shame. If I do a fragrance, I will put Narcissus. It smells very green, a green flower, and I do love that. And I'm sure I'm forgetting I'm forgetting ingredient that I love, but I think that's the main one. Uh, name only one best of the fra of the best fragrance that you love to smell on a man. I think I answered the question before with the excitement. I will say Tuscan leather. Time for it. Um, then, do you enjoy gourmand? You mean gourmand? Um, Sentita fragrance? Uh, yes, I do more than before because before I was not really into that. Uh, there's a little recommendation from uh, Jeremy fragrance. Uh, that said that we should try Viva la Juicy Gold Couture and I bought it and it smells very gourmand and very sexy and I did regret it at the beginning because I was not too sure of the fragrance because it's not usually what I buy and uh, after a few months I actually really really love love this fragrance so thanks Jeremy uh, so yeah gourmand fragrance I like them more but um, it's just a bit too much when it's starting to be very sweet I'm just bored of them There's, they're everywhere the sweet fragrance so next question so the next question is for 15 cent do you think what do you think about Parfum de Marly I think they've got amazing fragrances I do really respect the brand um, I've seen uh, uh, they're doing some interesting masterclass which I would love to be part on but they're only in New York I think so I'm very sad uh, but yeah I like their fragrances um, I tried them in Arrows. I wish I could retry them more, but I need to find time to try them, and at the moment I don't. So. Uh, but I will. 
I will have my uh, do some reviews on them because I wish I could and I'm sure I would the little amount of fragrance that I try from them I really like them so question Sergio <laughs> are you French or English are you serious Sergio I'm French Jesus Christ I hope it's a joke <laughs> uh, Marie Joël Rousseau were you so about Gabrielle Essence so in case you didn't know Chanel released a new Gabrielle so we had the uh, there was the classic before that is a floral fragrance um, with Ylang Ylang orange blossom tuberose and uh, jasmine and then there's a new one that's been released that's got 10 times more tuberose. So I told you tuberose is one of my favorite ingredients. And uh, so the one before is nice. I like the DNA, but uh, very hairy, you know. And uh, the new one is stunning. Uh, it's just smell very like a bit more gourmand, actually. A much more creamier, sexy, enveloping, warmer, nighttime. I just, I just love this fragrance. Uh, I think... Uh, it makes me feel very feminine and very sure of myself. Like, I think for a lady it's very flattering, very elegant fragrance. But it's got that sexiness vibe, which I really like. Uh, so yeah, that's my song. You test in Bond number 9, New York Amber. No. I tried uh, some of the fragrance, but I don't remember. I've been to Harrods and I was trying some of them in Salon de Parfum but I didn't get really the time to remember which fragrance is which so I couldn't tell you by fragrance enthusiast I guess uh, best men designer fragrance in your opinion Hermes everybody knows that I'm a fan of Hermes so uh, but uh, I really like uh, like a good Bleu de Chanel or a good Vetiver from Galin from designers. What got you into fragrance? Um, my love for beauty, my um, love for fragrance since I'm very young, love of history, anything like that. And my studies as well because I was beauty therapist before and then I've done perfumery like uh, studies so I've worked out a lot. and. Uh, I worked in perfumery as well, with different brands, a different kind of job, into fragrances. So I, I just I just follow my dream working into fragrances. Factory fumery. What's the fragrance you use the least because you want it to last forever? You're gonna be very surprised. Um, I'm so sad. Um, let me show you actually. So it's um. My Burberry, and uh, as you can tell, I'm gonna remove that. I think I'm done now. I've been so quick, so happy. Um, so it's called My Burberry, and I don't know. I fell in love from this fragrance because it's it's quite floral actually, but it's very delicate, and the scent, the eau de parfum I'm talking about, is staying on me crazy, like crazy, like as rare that in the daytime and in the evening it smells the same. And I just, I don't know, I fell in love from it. You know when you first smell a fragrance and you're like, oh, that was exactly this for this. But I, I, I love um, Burberry fragrances, so I was not surprised. I, I'm wearing London a lot for daytime, so when they released this one, I was just like, oh my God, look at this. So it lasts on me, oh, I shouldn't have spray, I'm so stupid. Um, there's only this left. And uh, I'm keeping it because I need to buy a new one to be honest. It's just. Uh, I just give it for, for special occasion. Well, we I've got. Uh, oh, I shouldn't tap in it as well. Oh. Uh, don't rub your fragrance. Just, you know. Uh, but yeah, I want it to last forever. If I can buy another one, that's why it's not like it, that expensive. So yeah, it's just because it's a small bottle, I didn't want to hand it at the end I think uh, next question is is there a link between the fragrances you wear and the clothes you wear yes because it depends on my mood so if I'm feeling like um, very good very good in my outfit and I'm on the day off I'm gonna wear uh, like a light little dress then I will wear maybe like uh, 
something very light. Um, if I if I go to the beach, I want something sunny, warm. I will wear Terre de Lumière by L'Occitane, for example, very spicy sort of fragrance. Um, if I wear a black dress, I will wear Coco Noir, for example, from Chanel. Or I quite like to match colors. Like if I'm wearing like a white dress, I would like. Um, wear white flowers, like something that's meant like very jasminey or tuberosey, things like that. That I like. Good question, Marcus. Thank you. Perfume get better with time. Maceration. Well, it depends. Some gets very bad uh, with the time, like uh, not really nice to smell and things like that. And some gets good. Um, to give you an example, uh, I had a pure parfum of Calèche from Hermès, and I left it somewhere. And uh, I, I had it back a few time ago and I was like oh, how does it smell like it smelled amazing like very much more deeper it was smelling nearly like a good bourbon <laughs> it's not it doesn't sound really good but it's really nice actually uh, it was smelling like a jazz club like I could take my cigar and uh, go play poker somewhere you know so I did really like this, uh, but some fragrance are, does not react like this. Like uh, I can't give you a concrete example, but I know some of my friends been telling me that they left the fragrance um, in the sunlight and uh, with the time and maceration, it, it just they couldn't wear it. It was smelling like very deep alcoholic, like something really repulsive. So I guess it depends of uh, the ingredient and uh, the stability of the of the solution as well so it really depends it's like wine some wine are not good with maceration but then uh, some are really good with the time so i guess it's a good timing for each uh, perfume uh, but yeah i think that's all for the question i hope you did like it uh, it's quite difficult to answer the question and answer something serious when you're doing your makeup but that was really fun it's so, alright, so let's see my hair as well. I hope you enjoy uh, the video and uh, please like, subscribe if you like it, uh, like the video, share if you do, uh, contact me on Instagram and, um, and yeah, thanks for watching, bye now. Oh, I forgot the spray. So